My name's Duddy, so I do builds and stuff. Today, I want to show you how to get an absolutely massive increase on the fawn poison damage. Look, watch his number briefly, 702. Watch what happens when I finished 3660. That is a 421% damage increase. So, fawn, mark of the devourer. Rounds, pierce targets and deal damage over time. Kills with this weapon, leave behind remnants. And then he's got the perk on there, Seal Devourer, absorbing a remnant, strengthens the mark of the Devourer and partially refills the mag. So collecting one of these increases the poison damage. Normally it's around about 200%, but we're going to get loads of more extra damage. So just look at the standard shot, as you've seen in the brief in the beginning of the video. But I'll just go through it one more time. 702 is the poison damage. And all I'm going to do is add my favourite fragment of all time, Whisper of Rending. Primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. So whenever we free something, our connect, our primary ammo weapons are going to do extra damage. It's 42% damage increase. Use Bleak Watcher on a Warlock, just something like that, just to keep the enemies consistently freezed. 702, and what you're going to see now is we freeze this target. And while he's frozen, he's going to receive an extra 42% damage increase from the headshot and from the poison. Look at that, 1000 damage from 702, that's a 42% damage increase. But that's just the start of it because we can get an absolute load more damage than that as well by adding free kinetic weapon surges. It's an extra 22% damage increase. Pairing that with the uh, Whisper of Rending is really, really crazy. These all stack together. So I'm going to pick up an orb. And you'll see a further increase. You'll see I've got my armor charges there. 1220. That is absolutely huge. Whisper of Rending and Kinetic Surges. Now the Devourer perk. What you'll see is the tick damage of 2106. And all I'm going to do simply here is do everything you've seen. I've got my armor charge freezing him. So I'll proc that Whisper of Rending. Make sure I've got my Kinetic Surges going on. And watch this damage increase. 3660 while he is frozen. So we've gone all the way from 702 all the way up to 3660. That is a 421% damage increase. And it isn't particularly hard to do as long as you keep the enemies frozen. Pick up an orb, you are good to go. Make sure you get one of your poison remnants. Right now, hand cannons, uh, they're sort of a little bit off meta in PvE especially, but hand cannons for next season are getting an absolutely massive buff. 75% damage increase against uh, mages, so this could be really, really interesting. On the Warlock, I found in particular it was pretty hard to create a lot of orbs consistently, but sticking to Reaper and Time Dilation mods really enhances that. So every time you use your class ability, your next kill is going to spawn an orb, like so. So that is just one way. I've got another way to talk about later on to keep a... A decent flow of armor charge up but for now just go back to the hand cannon briefly uh, like I said it does feel a little bit off meta at the moment uh, it does do plenty of damage in lost sectors and things like that with this particular setup I was melting these enemies pretty easily with this particular setup getting that extra poison damage but like I said an incoming buff next season this could be very very interesting another way that I like to use to create armor charges is like so if you just watch these stasis shards Elemental Charge, collected a Fire Sprite, Ionic Trace, Stasis Shard is going to give us an armor charge, so I suggest dropping one of your kinetic surges on your legs and putting these on. And when you've got a Glacial Harvest going on the aspect on the Warlock, you can literally just keep collecting these Stasis Shards, which will give you a constant flow of armor charges. Like I said, it is 17%. I would recommend dropping one of your kinetic surges just to get that, so you've got that constant armor, flow, armor charge flow. But that's the video, I'll leave a dim link for this build, let me know what you think, future meta possibly, and if we had 3 or 4 people running this, this could be absolutely insane. Have a great day, thanks for watching.